<laughs> well, it's been a while since I've played some Dead Side, and it's been a while since I talked about it, and a lot has changed with many more changes coming down the pipeline. But of course, I just wanted to thank all you guys so far for the continuous support. We are now on the way to 9,000 subscribers. It's been quite a journey so far, and I just have to thank all of you guys for the continuous support, pretty much. So, Dead Side, Dead Side, Dead Side. It's changed a lot since the last time I played. I think it was about five months ago. In January is when I last played it. And the biggest changes so far, of course, are, let me, I'm gonna basically make a giant list for you guys. The introduction of sleeping bags, that has been quite a game changer. And a lot of people were complaining about the respawn beacons not, well, they thought it wasn't gonna be of any use. And well, it turns out that wasn't the case. So respawn beacons are now also able to have your entire squad spawn on them. Let me see if anyone's up there real quick. Uh, oh God, I'm forgetting how to play the game. Another sniper sometimes up above. But yeah, we got the re reworked Mosin and MP5 as well. So the models look so good and I'm really impressed. But basically, sleeping bags if you guys don't know what how that works in this game think about it like rust where you can place them down and respawn not anytime you want but there is a cooldown timer and it basically is i think they said what five minutes yeah five minute cooldown timer between each respawn and on top of that you can't place a sleeping bag inside of a town i want to go up there again <laughs> i want to go to the top of the building so you can't just place one here. You have to place it on the outskirts of said town, which is, you know, it's fine for now. I, I appreciate it. But also sleeping bags can also be destroyed by other players. So if you want to place a sleeping bag, you know, somewhere around there, place it in a bush, place it near some trees, you know, try to camouflage it if you can. Another thing that was added as well too was proning. And I know that was a long awaited uh, feature for this game and I know a lot of people were waiting for it so now proning is in the game and proning makes a world of a difference if you're wearing a full ghillie suit and looking to snipe people from afar so be be very careful when it comes to that and just you know watch your step just in case also the animations for the prone look pretty good I'll be honest if I actually I can do it right now just I don't know man that looks so cool the way he stands up actually puts his hand down like especially if i sprint oh, i'm in a bush i'm in a bush i mean it's really it's tall grass but that's just so cool and i think I, you can even roll uh i haven't done it yet this is i'm gonna test it just in the middle of nowhere hang on let's see yeah <laughs> i mean the head kind of stays there but you can just roll and roll and roll <laughs> That's pretty cool. Also, weapon and armor rebalance has been introduced. So now weapons, of course, weapons have always had durability for a while now, but now armor has durability. And that's a pretty interesting introduction because now it feels like the game's gonna be more hardcore in that regards. Cause now you have to be focused on not just your weapons durability, but your armor's durability. And that also includes weapon uh i would say bullet penetration so now you have to worry i'm going to try to climb this up real quick about certain calibers and certain weapons actually penetrating your armor and the lower your durability the less it'll protect you so that's now going to be an issue i think there might be something up here i don't see anything no we're fine we'll head back down so now even the heaviest of Alton helmets and heavy vest armors could eventually be your downfall if you're not taking care of it. Got the little Makarov too, little Mackey. Love the Makarov is so good, so fun. It's not good, it's fun. I want to say it's good, but it's fun to use. I keep hearing the radio. No, the school's just to the left. Got the rail yard to the right.
There's a school right there. Maybe we can go check out the school real quick. That might be actually kind of interesting to go check out. Let's go see what's up. Oh my gosh. Is that a convoy? There's just so many. I don't know if I can get one or not. Hmm. Hmm. Don't want to fight that now. Let's go for the school. I read a clear at the school if there is anyone there, which means a mission might be there. No? Well, just because I'm not seeing anybody doesn't mean there isn't something going on over here. Ooh, some gas. Let's take that. So I'm going to be talking about vehicles later on for sure. This is so cool, man. I love the the model for this and the the work that was put into this. Definitely reminiscent of some stalker for sure. Or really just anywhere that Perpiet was introduced. This is also, if you guys don't know what the city is, this is Kamensk here in Deadside. It's not Perpiet, even though it's very reminiscent of it. But still, it's it's really cool. Maybe I should go kill those guys, to be honest. Yeah, let's see if I can go track him down real quick. I think I keep pulling out the wrong gun. There we go. Hopefully the uh, Mosin doesn't fail me now. Oh, looks like they went down the road. Into the village of some sort. Yeah. Okay, hang on. And they really went far. Jeez. Oh. Okay. I think I saw the head of one. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, there they are. Oh, the house might be perfect then. I can get into the house without me being seen. Ooh, I can take out a few from here. Did you just take a hit? Ooh. One of them is still. Oh, shoot. So also here on the Blue Blood server, AI have the ability to hit just a little bit harder since this is a PVE server and it's a hardcore server. That guy just took a 7.62 by 54 rounds of chest. That sounds great. That sounds awesome. Woo. All right. That was cool. That that MP5 sounds oh, sorry, MR5. That sounds awesome. Wait, how does the uh That sounds about the same. The MR5. Maybe the MR5 always did sound like that. I don't remember. Okay, animation for that. Is a little bit broken, but it's fine. It's fine. That's right. I missed that. I, what? Oh, okay. It just goes right through their body. <laughs> so, yeah, another cool aspect that they added. There's someone on this rooftop, most likely. I'm going to see if I can get in there. Was an experimental 5x4 kilometer smaller PvP map. Which basically just... Can I go in here? Let's see. You can. Okay. There might be someone up top. Which basically means just... I would say just a little bit north of the south safe zone of the bus station. And then a little bit south... Not too much... Is open. To be played on. Which means... If there's a full pop 50 player server on a smaller map... You're going to run into a lot more PvP fights. So for all you PvP fanatics out there that say that you can barely find anybody on this. Well, just know that'll change with the introduction of that smaller experimental map. Now, how long will this map be on for? 
Who knows? Ooh, got windy up here. Okay, so no one's here. Why am I getting the radio? Like if there's some, there was someone. Unless there's a checkpoint. No, I'm not saying anyone. Oh, ah, there you guys are. Oh, time to. Oh, look at this. For the duck call. <laughs> the perfect sniper's corner right here. Dang, what if I hit that? The heck? Okay, he's 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 kind of bugged out there. Was that the only one that was there? Oh my god, he got over the fence. <laughs> he's just standing there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, dang it. Did I not grab it? Give me the duck whistle. There we go. Oh, wow. Look, look at it real quick, just to kind of show you guys. The sound and the muzzle flash. Got him. There, the, you know, the distance of the bullet and the muzzle flash itself and the sound is actually taken into effect. That's just so cool. God, this is such a pretty city, man. Seriously. It's a ghost town now. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the train station while we're heading down. But of course, probably the main reason why you guys clicked on this video. You're probably asking, where are the vehicles in this game? Well, guess what? I have some great news to share with you guys today. Now. I'm going to put it out there right now. There is no release date, but there is footage of both the oh, there's still more here of both the car and the motorcycle that will be implemented into the game. Apparently there might be a mission around here just in the north of me in this little warehouse area. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. That's what's going on. Okay, wish me luck, boys. Let's see. There might be a way for me to look past a train yard or this train track here into it. Yeah, it has some cover. But there was a teaser trailer that the Dead Side team posted and the introduction of ground vehicles, which looks absolutely incredible. They posted it a while ago, and while we did see vehicles, uh, or it's not sorry, vehicles, uh, pictures of the motorcycle. That guy just saw his friend die in front of him. Oh, shoot. Oh my God, there's more. Okay. All right. Maybe this is a bad spot to be on. Dang, I keep clicking two. Ooh, there's one right there. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm in a bad spot. That's probably one right behind me. That is a crate inside the. Oh, there's trunks. That's new for me. Oh, shoot. Okay. Shh. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ooh, that could have been bad. Woo! Yeah, and they're on the outside. I could just peek this. There we go. And we did it. It was a little easy mission here. That was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's grab the stuff. Okay, we got a little bit of a people problem right here. Hey, where are you going? Okay. So, as I was saying earlier back in the uh, the video, the vehicles, the details look amazing. And we also have a medium mission that, that's at the school. So, I've been trying to find a way to go up this uh, tower again. Oh, it's on the back side. It's in the... Yeah, I remember now. I'm not like, I swear I heard a door open. One of these doors right here, I think you can climb up. Yeah. Nope. Okay. I was, or maybe this door you can open up. Yeah, there it is. Okay. As I ascend, never mind. Oh, yep. There it is. <laughs> as I ascend this tower, uh, just know that the vehicles look absolutely incredible. And in case you haven't seen it, here's the video showcasing the vehicle, the car in action and a little bit of the motorbike as well. Now, probably the first thing that you notice and the first thing I know I noticed is the lack of speed in the vehicle. Ooh, so, okay, okay. So, yeah, seeing that the vehicle itself just didn't really go as fast as I thought it was going to be was kind of a letdown, but of course that could change in the future. There could be a reason for it. Well, that is locked. Interesting. Also... This is a pretty cool view of the school. I'm not seeing anyone out there right now. I have to go up some more. And of course, while the vehicles do look great, uh, they also have the implementation of a trunk space, which is really cool. I'm just not seeing the speed. So, you know, maybe there's a reason behind that. Maybe there's a reason for it. Yeah, there we go. Hit one there, one there. One there, two, three, four, five-ish so far. All right, well, let's get to shooting real quick. and see how far we can go out. Ooh, okay, okay. Dang it.
Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Well, that didn't turn out as great as I thought it was going to be. I don't think they can come up this building, but they're going to be surrounding it now, so. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Hold up. What? Did I see somebody run on the outside? Dang. Oh my god, the sound of the metal being hit. Is that a piece of... Oh, fishing worms on there. <laughs> okay, cool. Ooh, nice shot. I hit him in the leg. Dang it. Why'd you move? Okay. Whew. So, as I'm talking and shooting right now, just know that the vehicles are still in work in progress. I'm curious to see what happens if people that get ran over cause damage ooh, to the vehicle. Can't believe I got him. And how long it would take for someone to blow up the vehicle um, as well. You can blow it up by shooting it, which is really nice. So, of course, just like the boats. But I'm also curious that people are going to be putting IED. Uh, oh, there they are. Ambushes on the side of the roads as well, too. So that's going to be interesting to see in the future. I wonder if I can, like... This is very dangerous. The whole city shooting at me right now. Oh yeah, the whole city shooting at me now. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea because now everyone's. Oh come on! <laughs> I'm trying to clear out the mission. Maybe we should just go down. Ah shoot. Ooh, nice. I'm going to run out of Mosin ammo at this point. Okay, yeah, let's head down and try to clear out this mission. Oh, that was it. Last one. Dang, I sniped everyone then. Okay, cool. Let's grab this and get out of here. So why as I leave the city of Kamensk, the team over at Deadside did put out a couple more developments, which is really nice. And a lot of that was, of course, on the base building, simplifying that. Uh, the ability to upgrade your base using scrap metal to basically strengthen the walls. The ability to base upkeep or maintain your base so now basically instead of having your base decay in 7 to 15 days only you now have the ability to uh, I would say keep your base up for as long as possible and so I'm really excited that that's a thing now so you're able to secure your base for as long as you need also raiding your base might change in the future instead of on a token system it'll be basically your base is vulnerable both offline and online so a lot of people have apparently have been complaining about alt accounts being made and that being used to basically make unrateable bases so that's going to be hopefully fixing the issue but of course only time will tell especially when it comes to fix uh you know feedback and of course the mention of a trading level system so that'll be coming to the game God, look at this sign it's great man so good so good and uh, but basically the scrap metal will be the currency you use to upgrade your base or upgrade the the level of your trader but also upgrade your base so it's going to be very very important to keep a lot of scrap metal and be searching for it and of course pvp players will love killing people for their scrap metal as well so keep an eye out for that but other than that guys i appreciate you guys watching the video 
like i said earlier before we are on our way to 9,000 subscribers so i would appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button and of course stay tuned for future updates in regards to this game and i'll see you guys in the next one peace